what is up everybody welcome back to my channel mystic watch and today we got a brand new video it is late it is uh one in the morning and i was ready to go to bed but as i was about to get off i got a message on discord by uh Gutorius. so shout out if you're watching the video he gave me a little heads up he's like uh go go check uh go check the announcements real quick i'm like huh what's up he sent me a picture and I'm like, what's going on here? No, no update whatsoever. But if you take a look on the side, we got Veldora already dropping. Veldora the Seal Releaser. So in today's video, I'll be going over a little bit about Veldora. There's another update announcement in here that we'll go over. And there was a leak less than a week ago that talked about Veldora, Milam, and Rimuru. And the Veldora leak happens to be this exact Veldora. So we'll go over that leak together uh, to kind of see what what Veldora, like what can we expect of Veldora. So going in, uh, just as a heads up, this is, we're talking about the 9th of November at 2 UTC time. So whatever that is in the morning, I, I don't know how to translate to EST, but I'm sure it's sometime in the morning. And, um, this is like a full like 24 hours from now for me. But we have a full day before we actually get this. But that that is insane. I was not expecting this. I was honestly expecting the um this banner over here, the one that's leaving in a day. All right, I'm on the wrong display. But yeah, like I was expecting when this left to um to just to just not get anything, to be honest. Like, <laughs> I genuinely wasn't expecting anything else to pop up. But, there we go. So, Veldora is dropping tomorrow, and there's really not much on here. It's just saying that there's a going to be a banner with him on it at a higher rate. And one thing to note is that it doesn't say anyone else is on. Man, I, I, I really gotta stop that. I have my blue stack set to... Uh, there's two different options, right? There's OpenGL and DirectX. Uh, if you have it on DirectX, you'll get the animations to play just fine. But DirectX has been known to crash on me more. So I like to use it on OpenGL where I, I never crash, but I lose the uh, the animations for whatever reason. Okay, small, <laughs> small notes aside. Uh, one thing I wanted to go over is with this banner, where we have the increased rates. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, so you'll take a look here. Everyone's at 0.164. Diablo's at 0.7. And uh, our protection character's at a different rate. And Shion's at 0.7. So what this makes me kind of think is that if we're getting Vildora by himself on a banner, he might be at 1.4 or, or something along those lines, right? Like he might be like 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 in that ballpark of a percentage. So we have a high chance of getting him. And it seems like Veldora is going to be a battle character. Again, I'll go over the leaks in a second. But here, I wanted to go over this another thing. If you scroll down, you'll see that we have um, the One Unleash Veldora Slime Observation Journal. So thank you for playing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, Veldora will start at November 9th. Uh, 2 a.m. UTC and we'll have that till the end of the month as a follow-up to interview with the demon butler which is the event we have going on right now the first in our series of original stories from fuse the author of that time I got reincarnated as slime uh, Vildora slime observation journal is coming to isekai memories there'll be a special limited time missions available to commemorate this event uh, you can get Vildora the seal releaser recruit selection tickets in the missions as well uh, the story will be fully voiced and so on. So it doesn't really tell us too much, but one thing I'm um, trying to figure out is, are we going to get another free to play character in here? Because if I go over um, Nation of Monsters Diabolic Secretary, like it talks about like we, we get, you know, Benny Maru in here, we get so many different events. So I'm wondering how big this is going to be. Because it's probably not going to overlap with that event, right? 
So it's probably going to be something small, similar to what we have with Interview with the Demon Butler. And if you guys don't remember what that is, this is just a three mission thing. So I'm wondering what, like, what they're going to do. Uh, like, how small is it going to be? How big is it going to be? Kind of, it feels kind of random that we're getting it like Vildora just dropped on here. But let's, uh, let's swap over to Reddit. So I can show you guys a little bit about Vildora himself. Now, keep in mind that these are leaks and they were posted five days ago. Uh, I don't know Desu Snow's reputation, but, uh, you know, if it's good, it's good. Uh, maybe, maybe more people are aware of him. He seems to have good post karma. So, you know, I'll take it with, you know, a grain of salt again, but I'm just going under the assumption that these are correct. He got the tag, right? Vildora seal releaser. So if he got that right, then there's a good chance that these are also correct. And, um, uh, we'll, we'll actually go through everything because if this dropped already, who knows when, when these are going to come out, right? So starting off with the Voldora seal releaser, we have a uh, dark physical a battle skill one dragon smash increases, activating soul of combos damage by a certain percent uh, for one turn decreases all targets, pierced resistance by X percent. So uh, soul of combos is. Uh, when you generate, when you do three or more attacks, you'll have the little combo bonus on the right side. Uh, that is soul of combos. So it's just adding to your, your big combo attacks. This is pretty strong from what I remember, uh, since this multiplies very hard. If you're doing, you know, if you're hitting with like four or five, especially five or six attacks, uh, this additional damage is pretty good. Uh, again, it'll, it'll depend on the multiplier, but this is a nice thing to see decreases. And then the second part decreases all targets pierce resistance by X percent. So meaning you have an increased chance of piercing them. Uh, I don't personally know what, like what are the standard numbers for pierce? So if we go really quickly to here, who's good. Uh, we'll take a look at Diablo, right? Unique status. Like they, they have pretty low numbers. So I don't know how much uh, this is actually going to matter. But let's see if like Gazil has higher, maybe. I feel like Gazil hits like a truck. So like Gazil has 8% pierce rate, so this is more reasonable. Uh, I don't know if pierce rate can go into the negatives. I actually think it can, right? So if you can reduce this by 20%, that means that um, you actually have like an additional 20% to hit them. So if that is the case, then it'll be pretty good, right? having like a 30% chance to, to crit someone, uh, I mean, to pierce is uh, pretty powerful, especially when you stack pierce and crit together. Then we have battle skill two and keep in mind, this is pierce resistance on the enemy. So Vildora can just use this move and he doesn't have to be the one attacking. Battle skill two is tempestuous drive, decrease a single target's critical damage by X. Uh, I am not aware of how good this is going to be. It's just like reading it. It sounds mediocre, but we don't know what the meta of this game is. For all we know, they're going to be releasing units that just crit very heavily. And this is something that we're going to need. So it's really hard to judge. For example, we have skills like 90% uh, chance to evade a poison or 90% chance to evade stun that don't seem useful right now, but I can almost guarantee you there'll be some sort of event in the future that those type of skills will be powerful in. So as of right now, I, I think this is going to be mediocre and they'll eventually release content where this is somewhat more reasonable. Uh, I haven't done all the conquests yet, but I'm almost positive that one of the conquests, whether it's, I, I think it might be Sky Dragon or Ifrit, someone, one of those two, I could be completely wrong, but one of those crits like a, just like hits like a truck with crits. So this would be something that, you know, could be used over there. Secret skill, Draconic Burst, unleashes an all-target physical dark attack uh, for X percent normal damage. Now, this is just a generic AoE attack. We haven't really seen anything unique when it comes to ultimate skills yet. So I'm hoping that they diversify a little bit. Uh, one thing that um, I would say I like a pet, not a pet peeve. Like I would say one critique of this game that I have is that units are not that unique from each other besides their typing. 
they don't really do too much special about them. So I would like them to start diversifying and making things a little bit more unique. Uh, trait at Awaken 1 and 3. If you're not uh, familiar with this, this means that when you get dupe 1 and dupe 3, these are the extra abilities you get. Now, for the most part, the game does a good job at keeping them relatively weak. Uh, I don't feel like enticed at all by this. When you have 50% uh, HP or higher, increase your own counter rate by 6% or 9% at the start of turn available in support formation. What this means is that uh, I believe it works by 6% and then an additional 9%. So you'll have a stacking 15% counter attack rate, which again is, okay. you know, it, it's not like <laughs> for putting in three dupes, it does not sound that impressive to me. But what does sound cool is that it's available in support formation. But at the same time, if you have a unit with three dupes in, you probably like you probably just <laughs> would be using them on your main thing anyways. So the support formation thing doesn't matter too much, it feels like. But let's take a look at Milam and Rimuru. Over here, it says looks like Milam's kit is incomplete, so we won't worry about that too much. Uh, dark again. So all three of these units are dark. Battle skill one, Dragon Orb changes Soul of Secrets into Soul of Divine Protection. Increase all Soul of Divine Protection gauges increased by 5%. This is a move that already exists. So Soul of Divine Protection is changing from orange to blue. And I believe, I don't know if Soe or Blue Soe or um, Light Milum. I mean, Light Shuna do this. Uh, one of the two. I know they change from orange to blue or orange to green. One does one, the other one does the other. Uh, so this is exact copy paste of that move. Uh, Dragon Thrash increases all allies critical resistance by X, increases own critical rate by X. So depending on the cost of the skill, this could be a really good move. It's a damage buff plus a defense buff at the same time. Uh, secret skill, Dragon Nova, unleashes a single target, and so on. And Rimuru Tempest, Awakened Demon Lord. Battle skill one, unlock expertise, increases own critical rate by X, increases own critical rate by damage. Now this, <laughs> that's a move right there. Whew, this is all in one. So one reason why Gazel uh, Dwargo is really strong is because across both of his moves, he has increased crit rate and increased crit damage. And he hits like a truck. He just nukes, but Rimuru can do it in a single skill. Uh, second move is called Raphael. Increases all allies stun evasion by X percent. This is probably going to be 90%. Increase Soul of Divine Protection damage by X. Okay, this is probably not going to be 90% because that is a secondary effect. Uh, increase the Soul of Divine Protection damage by uh, X. So, div again, Divine Protection is blue. So, other than that, we got Belzebub. I, I'm whatever. Unleash is an all dark, all target dark magic attack. This is what I kind of mean, right? It's like, oh, AOE, single target AOE. There's no, there's no really uniqueness there. So we have Awaken 1 and 3, troop protection up. When your troop contains three or more battle characters, increase your protection gauge by 7, 7 out of 11 at the start of battle. This is, Oh, 7. Increase your protection gauge by 7 and uh, at 3 by 11 at the start of battle. So this one actually seems more relevant because this is just straight up increasing your gauge start time but yeah those are the those are the three leaked characters vildora being here um i'm still a little bit shaky on how good these units are going to be they all seem to have something critical related so there's that but yeah that's um that's it let me know what you guys think it's pretty interesting that <laughs> we're getting vildora uh already especially like with Season two content. Uh, I'm I'm hoping they don't burn out and have like they they keep the pacing correct. This seems pretty fast for us to get two new banners within a week of the game launching. Right? Uh, it's a little bit over a week, but that's that's pretty fast, right? I don't I don't I don't like that. Even though it's a PVE game and you're not obligated to like summon on here, it's kind of weird. So. I'm a little bit iffy on it, but there you go. I think the units are cool for sure. And uh, depending on when they actually drop, uh, again, like none of the, the leaks that I said are set in stone. They could change. But I think Veldora seems pretty good from his leak. Uh, 
Uh, Milam seems all right. And Rimuru seems amazing. So that's kind of what it's at. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any currency saved up. I still have enough to do nearly 10 multis. So I'm, uh, you know, I'm not worried by any means. If I want to summon, I can summon, but I'm not, you know, I'm not pressed to summon at all. So I'll see you all next time. Have fun and, uh, peace out.